Hey traders, Raggy here and what I'm going to talk about with you in this video, in this recap video is how not to get shaken out. This is one of those things where the uncertainty of playing this game of trading can be very tough when we can't determine what kind of risk and what kind of risk tolerance we have to build into our expectations and our trading plan. And I'm going to show you how we do it here at Simpler Futures and how we do it every morning in the chat room and, and what I teach all our members, both silver and gold, to do. And that is use the daily price movement ranges. So let me give you an example. And this is straight from today. This is the S&P. Now we had taken the S&P long into the weekend because we had already done this very exercise I'm going to walk you through right now, which is we take the high of the session, which is oftentimes going to be put in somewhere between 2 a.m. and 10. Okay. And we take a look with whatever high we have every morning when we start our morning chat, we start to subtract in this case to calculate the range lows. We start to subtract the upper end, the average and the lower end of the price movement range. And this price movement range data has a probability of 68%. In other words, this happens quite a bit. Two thirds of the time I'll see this kind of price movement. So if I told you something happens two thirds of the time, do you think that gives you a pretty good actionable advantage? I believe it does and I'm going to show you how it does right now. So we had an entry long from the 2570 area. So one of the common questions I got were from traders who did not want to take the trade long into the weekend, wanted to take their profit, close out the trade and perhaps take the risk of re-entering, and I say risk because we may not have had that opportunity. So as the market started selling off towards 2570, 2575 again, the question is, are we likely to exhaust? And as we calculate the range extremes based upon the 68% probability of the high, the average, and the low, and let me show you what that looks like here. It's really cool data. So you head on over here, you go to CME, and I'm going to show you what this data looks like how easy it is to crunch these numbers. So here is the data I'm talking about, your low, your average, your high. And then I'm going to show you, I'm going to give you a sneak peek of our top secret spreadsheet. <laughs> this is it right here. These are all our filled trades. Uh, right now we don't have any pending orders, which is why this blue section is empty. But notice where we've gotten in on these trades. Okay. So the question is, well, Rog, will we be able to re-enter again? And, and the probabilities show it is something we could see. And then today's low, then at 2570, allowed those traders who were not long before to build a trade to build a position here today and sit on about a 10 to, you know, 9, 10, 11, 12, depending upon how aggressively you got in, uh, unrealized profit. Now we were confident about this level being exhaustive because we have the 68% probability of that movement. This is how you don't get shaken out. This is how also when the rest, when the rest of the market is thinking we're going to continue to melt down, you know where those exhaustive levels are most likely to be. We did the same thing on the NASDAQ today. Now let me talk about one other thing and that is the intraday price action. Because when you look at the intraday price action, one of the things I remind my traders is there's a psychology that you're going to see between 2 a.m. and about 9. And the closer we get to the open, starting at about 9 o'clock, the transition shifts from inheriting the European, the UK, and the Asian session risk environment to the anticipation of the US. And notice when we made that very abrupt shift during that very key clearing period between 9.30 and 10, which is why it's so important as an intraday trader to understand time. But in this video, again, what I wanted to show you is how to understand price and price movement ranges to prevent getting shaken out. The next step is understanding time in order to, to better play the psychology shifts throughout the day and again, not get shaken out. And we'll talk about that in another video. All right. So again, think about those price movement ranges. I'll see you in the next update.